Alright. Hey guys, how are you? Hi. It's me and my bestie Erin. And we're going to do the best friend YouTube tag thing. I don't know what you would really call it. But yeah. So if you're interested, keep watching. And if not, then have a good day. <laughs> if not, bye. <laughs> right. Okay. So, Erin, the first question is, how and when did you meet? Dillard's. We met at Dillard's. <laughs> and, um, go ahead. No. We actually started on the same day, and we had our orientation together. Um, and I'm a very outgoing, friendly person, so I walked up right up to Chelsea and I said, Hi, my name's Erin. <laughs> and then, after that, for the rest of the time we've known each other, it was every every day that we would work together. I was downstairs working for Estee Lauder, and she was upstairs in the clothing department for what? Juniors? Was that Juniors? Image. Image? Like contemporary. Well, anyways, I would be down there, she would be up there, and when she would come down the escalator, she would sing every day. So I always knew when she was coming. So, and yeah, she's what got me out of my shell a little bit. So, I try. Yeah. Alright, so that's how we met. Number two, what is your favorite memory together? I think all of our parties. We threw lots of parties. <laughs> we had a lot of <laughs> parties. Lots of parties. A lot of pool parties, a lot of house parties, a lot of potentially illegal parties. <laughs> pool parties. <laughs> what she means by pool Let's... party. <laughs> if you weren't there, then you don't get to know. Yeah. Anyways, <laughs> alright. <laughs> Moving on. Number three. Describe each other in one word. I never could figure out a word for you. Uniquely Erin. She's Erin. That's all I can come up with. She's, <laughs> she's a star. That's what Erin is. I mean, I can't really describe you in one word. I got a few of them. Like, you're very passionate. You're very creative. Um, you're really into makeup. <laughs> you think I'm creative? I think you are creative. Oh, man. I would never have used that word for me. But I don't consider myself creative. I think you are. I would like to think I'm creative. I mean, you, 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 when you do your makeup... You always, like, do different things to it. You try new things. Like, that's part of being creative. Mm -hmm. Not just, like, art and stuff like that, but, like... Oh, that's true. So, yeah, you guys know when I, like, am always doubting myself. When I do, like, the Get Ready With Me videos, we're like, ugh, I can't do this. So I stopped doing that. But you try stuff. That's what yeah. it is. Like, you're, you're not afraid to try something new. You're not afraid to speak your mind. Good. I'm glad <laughs> that you think that. I'm trying. <laughs> um... What was the next one? <laughs> that one was describe each other. Oh, yeah. What's your dream job? So I'll let you take yeah. the floor. So my dream job would be, I would be, like, in the arts. Like, I would be a singer. I would be a dancer, an actress, um, maybe even, a, like, a painter or things like that. That's, like, ideally, like, my dream job. Uh, however, in the field that I'm in right now, I'm in retail. I'm in management of retail. I'd like to continue on with my job and get into things like merchandising and visual and things like that. Maybe eventually be a creative buyer. Like these are all things that I'm aspiring to in my job in my current role right now. I think you'll be good at it because you're a leader. What definitely. About you? Well, me. I mean, there's so many different things that I've wanted to do throughout my life, and I always get so. You know how I am. I am passionate. If anything, I am <laughs> passionate. And whatever I'm into, I'm passionate about. So. There's been a lot of different things in my life, but like, obviously I love to sing and dance and act the arts, for sure, um, but writing would be something that would be a dream job. I love... I think you want to make um, a difference. I think you want to help people. There's help people, that. help animals. And, you want to make a difference. And now that I'm about to be a CNA, um, I definitely feel like I'm doing good for myself in that. Um, and I had done the medical assistance thing before, and I was serious about it, but it just never worked out for me. So now that I'm going to do the CNA thing, I can see myself growing and being an RN. Um, and eventually, I want to do RN with skincare. So I kind of wanted to put the skincare with the nursing together. You can actually even talk to my mom about that. So. Like for real? Okay. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, interesting. Cool. So, yeah, that, that's about where I'm at in life. But also a dream job would be mom. I want to be a mom. And I do consider that a job. So, yeah. I want to be a mom. I want to be a mom so bad. Um, 
Okay, so what's your favorite makeup brand? You uh, Urban like Decay. Urban Decay. Urban Decay. I love <laughs> Urban Decay. I love how it goes on. I love the colors. I love the creativity. The I just love stuff. the brand. It yeah. is my favorite brand. Thank and I know that stuff. yours is Tarte. Tarte. And the ColourPop. Color <laughs> I love ColourPop. Yeah, I never got to show my YouTubers my ColourPop stuff that I got, actually. I was going to do a video about that. Uh, showing you guys all the ColourPop stuff I got. And then I just got too busy. So, sorry. <laughs> I'll show you guys sometime. Um... What is something that annoys you about the other person? Still, we're not going to answer that. We're not going to answer that. That no. is a very dangerous question <laughs> for two people who are best friends who have known each other for so long. So, yeah. we're no. not answering we that. We know what annoys, annoys <laughs> each other about the other one. I know what I do that annoys her. <laughs> right. <laughs> we don't need to talk about that. Okay, number seven. If you could go anywhere, or the, I can't talk. If you could go anywhere in the world together, where would it be and why? I think we would just travel. Yeah. Like, we wouldn't go anywhere specific. Different places. Yeah, because she wants to go to a lot of different places. I want to go to a lot of different places. I think we're both really open to just experiencing yeah. things and, and learning about different cultures. You're way more articulate than I am. <laughs> way more articulate. She if you could describe me in one word, would it be articulate? <laughs> hey, that's a good one. I said earlier for that question, I said, I don't know, kind of like flamboyant. And then I was like, but no, that's not the right word. It's pretty close. So, <laughs> so yeah, I had a hard time answering that one. But anyways, we're not on that question anymore. So, um, we're not on that question anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Mom. You're <laughs> Favorite inside joke. Toss boobies. Yep. And you don't get to know. <laughs> you don't get to know. Right. <laughs> That's an inside joke. Um, <laughs> it's an inside joke, not an outside joke. <laughs> Who takes longer to get ready in the morning? Me. For sure. That one. Only because I get lost in shirts. That's not. <laughs> you do so much more like stuff than I do. I'm lazy. When I wake up in the morning to get to work, I wake up as late as humanly possible, take my shower, and throw my makeup on really quick. Like, oh, no. like I'm, I like my sleep more than I need to be beautiful. No. I gotta get up. I gotta make that coffee. I gotta find something to eat. Now, usually I've made my breakfast the night before, so I have it ready in the morning. I don't have time for that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then, if I have time, I'll take a shower and get all pretty, but usually I just try to get all pretty. So... Right. Yeah. yeah, it takes me forever to get ready. I mean, I actually have been doing really good with that, but for sure it takes me longer. Um, favorite season? Fall. fall. Both of us love the fall. Favorite song? There's so many songs and I always have a new favorite <coughs> one. Um, I love, like, Round Here by the Counting Crows. Mm -hmm. That's one of my top favorite ones. Um... I think one of my favorites that I've always felt like really strongly about is John McLaughlin's um, So Close, and it's from that movie Enchanted. Okay. <clears throat> and I don't know what it is about that song. It's just really, it's like a fairy tale song. It really is. I love it so much. And it anything Disney. Happy. I love anything Disney. Mm -hmm. Like, yes. Yeah. Disney makes me happy. Disney makes me happy. What is it like being friends with someone so obsessed with YouTube? Um, that question's for me. <laughs> she's obsessed and I am not. Um, it's a great way to, because we live in different states. Um, you know, she lives up here, I live down in Florida. It's a great way to, you know, when we're working and our schedules don't blend together necessarily, that we can kind of keep in touch. I can, you know, see how she's doing, see what, like, Things she's putting up there, you know, I, if I miss my Chelsea, then I can just pop on YouTube and check her out. God forbid she just calls me. Sometimes I get out of work really late. <laughs> Plus, I don't like talking on the phone. And I get out of work really late. <laughs> um, I also am not as obsessed with YouTube as, as I once was. Were, yeah. I don't know. That'll be another video for another time. But yeah, it's been less so, so. <sighs> Those are flats. Uh, neither. 
actually, I don't like flats, they're too flat. I don't like heels, they're too tall. Um, and they pinch my feet sometimes. I like wedges or things that have kind of like a, like sandal, actually wedge sandals, like wedge flip flops are probably my favorite. I don't like heels. I mean, I love heels. Let me just be perfectly clear. <laughs> I love heels. I love heels. If I could wear if them. If I could wear them. <laughs> exactly. I can't wear heels. My feet are just not having it. Um, but I always drool over a good pair of heels. I just want some so Valentino. Yeah. Oh, man. I <laughs> love heels. I think With these rainbow Valentinos at my job. And I was, like, dying over them. You're just trying to get me to come back to Florida. So, <clears throat> thing with me is... don't have them anymore. They're gone. They don't last. Oh, lame. <laughs> um, yeah, because people other than me can wear them. <sighs> I can't wear them. No, if I see a pair of heels, I always drool over them, but I always love flats. I love flats. I think I also love my Skechers, though. Yeah, Skechers are good. I love Skechers. Um, but I love flats. I think flats are awesome. They look cute with a lot of outfits. Um, but I do love wedges. Wedges are awesome. And she is tall enough to so, wear flats. So that's the truth. I am tall enough to wear flats. Sometimes you really just want to wear something with a heel on it, though. Alright, next question. Um, pants or dresses? I love dresses. I'm way more comfortable in pants. I never miss an opportunity to get dressed up. I love dresses. And I, I also love pants, though. So it's it could be a toss-up for me. Um, favorite animal? So, I like all animals. I'm a big animal person. Um, you know, ferrets, monkeys, birds, um, chinchillas are really cool. <laughs> Even like, um, you know, leopard geckos are kind of cool, crested geckos and things like that. Um, so I'm just an overall, like, all around animal lover. Uh, I do have to say my favorite specific animal is my bird phoenix. He is a sun conure. I've had him for about two and a half years, and that is my child. Oh. Um, like you, I am an animal lover, so I, it's hard to narrow it down. Tell them. Don't tell me. I already know. I have a conversation <laughs> with you. <laughs> they they, they want to see the conversation between us. Um, no, I, I love animals. All of them like her. Um, I mean, there's... Ones like birds. I don't do birds, but I love mostly dogs and ferrets are my like specific favorites. So um, I'm actually in the middle of trying to convince my husband for a ferret for my birthday this year. I did get a ferret for my birthday a couple years ago, and that's a long story. He did say that he would try. But yes, he did say mm -hmm. he would try. So I'm actually really excited because I might get a ferret again. <clears throat> Anyways, next question. <laughs> If your house was burning down and your entire family was sure to be okay, what would you save and why? Um, I would save probably my phone because it has all my information on it, like pictures and family contacts and whatnot. And I would save um, photos of things from my childhood and from my past and like from the family. Things that were that have memory attached to them. Things that have that kind of, um, that's what I'm looking for. I would save things that have sentimental meaning to me. Um, and my family, uh, you know, things that you can't replace. <coughs> I can replace a TV. I can replace, you know, my bed. I can, you know, uh, well, I mean, I'm Phoenix, but Phoenix is my family, so he would be alright. Um, also, I would save anything that has to do with my father. Um, my father passed away a few years ago, and he was my best friend. Um, and anything that I can hold on to and keep that has to do with him, I would, I would save. Probably well, even above the photos, because I have other family I can make more photos with. Right, yeah. Um, well, my first, my first, uh, no, inclination, I can't think, of, my, uh, I can't think Her of. first inclination. My first inclination <laughs> was to say that I would get all my journals and stuff like that, but I've already lost all those once, and I've already learned that I, those are my stories, those are the things that I have that are part of me, so that's not as big of a deal to me as it once was, um, <clears throat> but I would still maybe try to save them what I could, um, but also, like, what you were talking about, anything that has sentimental value to you and things that rem would remind you of your dad, um, I do have some things that would remind me of my dad also, so, like, his police picture when he was a policeman, I would try to save that. Oh, I definitely say that. Um, 
And I think that's probably it, like, because everything else to me is very materialistic at this point. Like, I wouldn't try to save any of my makeup or anything. I mean, what about stuff I gave you? Well, this is a best friend's true. questionnaire, but you wouldn't save nothing that I gave you? You're the traveling pillow, for sure. I and love that pillow. The bracelet I'll already be wearing, <laughs> duh. So... No, I would definitely try to save things that the you gave Buddhas. me. The, the Buddhas. Buddhas. Yeah. I would save the Buddhas. <clears throat> they were. I started off. Um, I have a collection of. I collect them. My father collected them in his life, and when he passed away, I got a lot of his collection. Um, since then, I've been adding to it, and you know, I've gotten a few from Chelsea. I've collected a few of my own. I got some from my sister. So um, I actually have a pretty decent like Buddha collection, and, I, and it has a lot of sentimental meaning to me. So I would. I would definitely save the Buddhas. If I had an animal, I'd try to save my animal, too. I don't know. That's a hard question because, like, literally you would want to save everything because everything has some sort of a value to you. You know, otherwise you wouldn't have it. Yeah. But, I mean, really, when you put it everything into perspective, it's just stuff. Yeah. You know, but definitely the things with sentimental value. <clears throat> Okay, we spent a lot of time. That on was a question. really long time to say we'd save sentimental things. <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, comedy horror or chick flick? I'm definitely way more into comedy than the other two. Chick flicks every once in a while. I'm not a huge fan of horror anymore. I used to be, but I'm not anymore. Um, they just got too less suspenseful, way too vulgar for me. Um, a lot of things that are out nowadays, um, but definitely comedy. Um, any chance I get to laugh? I would say for me probably all of them because I love chick flicks, but I also love horror films, but I also love comedies. Well, I love romantic comedies. I'm not a huge, like, comedy fan. Like, I wouldn't just put on some of the things that you put on. Like... Should I be offended? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> like, what do you consider a good comedy movie? Like... I mean, a lot of comedies are romantic comedies in some aspect, but, like, um, I love Forgetting Sarah Marshall. Like, I love that movie. It's And it's kind of romantic comedy-ish, but it definitely has way more comedy in it. Yeah, that's a good movie, um, actually. You know, I, I see, I also like action things. Like, it doesn't say it on there. Like, I love superhero movies. I love yes. supernatural-type movies. Mm -hmm. I love fairy tale. <clears throat> Disney. Disney. I used to be a complete <laughs> Disney fan, but I haven't seen the last few, like, big Disney movies. Like, I never saw Frozen. I never um, saw Tangled. You would love Tangled. You know what else I haven't seen that I really want to see? It's not a Disney movie, though. Finding Dory. I really want to go see that. That was a cute movie. You want to go see it? I did see it. You went and saw it with your I saw with Florida Audrey. best friend. <laughs> hey, hey, Audrey. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Audrey. You probably won't even watch this. She'll watch it. Oh. She'll watch it. Oh. She told you. No, I feel like I just know that she'll watch it. <laughs> I didn't tell you nothing. <laughs> I, I explained to Chelsea that you will watch it. <laughs> okay. Blackberry or iPhone? iPhone. Android. <laughs> um, favorite movie? Disney. Um, is Disney a movie? I mean, kind of. I would have said anything with John Cusack for you. I, I really, I love John Cusack. Um, his old <coughs> stuff, his new stuff. Um, he has a very diverse collection of movies. Um, yeah, I, I adore, I adore John Cusack. I don't know what my favorite movie is. Probably, what Princess Bride. Oh, I love The Princess, Princess Bride. Bride. Is such a good yes. movie. That one, Enchanted for sure. If you have never seen Princess Bride, you need to go see it because that is one of the best all-time movies. Yes. Yes, rent it or buy it. You may as well just buy it because yeah, you don't you love might it. Yeah, you might as well buy it. It's um, got romantic comedy. It's got some action. It's yeah. funny. Like, real funny. Not like, not Will Ferrell funny. Will Ferrell is not funny. Funny. That's what I'm saying. It's oh. real funny. Oh, it's Will real Ferrell. funny. You know, it's 
you know, it's got some really great stuff in it. And it's a little bit older, but I think it's something that's still today. I know people today who've seen it who, you know, for the first time recently, who oh still love God. it. It's timeless. Yes, no, it's a wonderful movie. So that one, uh, Grease. I grew up on Grease. I don't know why I still consider it a favorite movie, but probably because I know every line in it. Every line, every song. Um, that Ten one. things I hate about you. Oh, I no, love it's that. It's not one of my favorites, but I do love it. It is one of my favorites. Um, pleasure. Yeah. Enchanted, American History X. I love American, American History, History X. X. That's such a it's powerful a movie. Good deep movie. For it's a sure. very powerful movie. Um, and also Billy Madison is probably oh, that's a comedy that I love. <laughs> yes. Yes, I love Billy Madison so much. I love pretty much anything Adam Sandler, though. Like, I, I like him. old Adam Sandler stuff. Mm -hmm. The newer stuff, it's hit or miss. I haven't seen a whole lot of his newer stuff. Like, yeah. Jack and Joe was <clears throat> terrible. I didn't see it. Because it was don't, dumb. Don't, I, like, fell asleep, woke up, and caught the end of it, and didn't even care. You know what other movie is pretty fucking vile? Oh, sorry. You know what other movie is pretty vile? <laughs> Beep! <laughs> You know, every movie's pretty vile that he's mm. in, but I kind of love it. That's my boy. I never saw that. Oh, it's really good. It's really good. I mean, it's pretty bad, but it's pretty good. <laughs> I love it. So his stuff is hit or miss for me. Yeah. Oh, well, I did try to watch his, I don't know if it's his last one, but Blended. I it's not his last it. one. Um, did I, I don't know if I saw that one. I tried to watch it, and I just, I mean, because I love him, and I love Drew Barrymore. I love Drew Barrymore. But I just did not <laughs> like Drew that Barrymore, movie. if you're watching yeah. this, we love yeah, you. Yeah, we love you. <laughs> um, but I just didn't like Blend It that much. I only got, like, halfway through it, and I was like, I can't do it like, anymore. Like, just go with it was a good one. I don't think I've seen that one. That's the one with Jennifer Aniston, where you pretend to be married. Oh, I wanted to see that. It might be on Netflix. We'll I never, tonight. have never seen that. We'll watch it tonight. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm, pretty, having, sure. I'm pretty sure it's on Netflix. Yeah. We're having a movie night tonight. So, yeah. Okay. It was a really long time um, on that question. It was. What is something weird that you eat? I don't think there's anything weird that I eat. I, I like to try new things. I like things that are diverse. Um, I don't think there's anything, like, weird. I've been told, I do like macaroni and cheese and tuna fish. <coughs> um, as long as it's not fishy. <laughs> so, um... I've heard that's kind of weird, but I also know a lot of other people who eat it. It's because it's like a tuna casserole kind of thing, kind of. I mean, it's, that's more or less what it is. So, yeah. Um, Brian would like it, probably. Actually, he probably would. Yeah. He is a big, like, uh, tuna noodle casserole fan. Me, not so much, but he is. But I try, you know, I love Greek food. Um, I, love Greek food I like Japanese food, depending on where you go. <laughs> I like, you know, I like Americanized food, I like fried chicken, I like Italian food. So I have like a pretty diverse palette of things that I like. Um, I don't think any of it's weird. You know, I've tried some things um, that other people might consider weird, but it all depends on where you're from. You know, mm -hmm. I had Indian food a few weeks ago. It wasn't something I was used to, but I didn't think it was weird. It just was different for me. It was delicious. What was it? Indian food? Oh, I've always wanted to try Indian food, but I'm afraid to. Because um, it's spicy. Like yeah. Stuff. Um, I mean, I didn't go for anything spicy. It does have a lot of spices, so it's mm -hmm. not, like, hot, like, spicy, but it has a lot of spices. Well, they like, like, cumin. Curry. Oh, curry. That's curry. Curry's a big one. Um, well, I like curry. I had, so, what was so. it, butter chicken, and it was delicious. Oh, that sounds good. I would say my favorite, uh, favorite food. We're not talking about favorite foods. We're talking about people, or, but what is your favorite food? Go ahead. Let's have it. <laughs> Pad Thai and apricot chicken are the two things that I will eat the living crap out of. But, um... You mean the dead crap because it's dead animals. My best friend, people. <laughs> I don't think anything I eat is weird. I don't think there's anything But I don't know either. if people think that what I eat is weird. I mean, the taco so, pizza we just had was pretty good, too. And that it was might delicious. be weird, but it was so good. It was good. I don't think that... that I mean, it's not weird. Some obviously. friends of ours might think it's weird. But and they're um, wrong because they're tacos wrong. are delicious. Tacos are delicious. I don't care who you are. I don't care what you're like. You are wrong if you don't like tacos. So I have this friend. <laughs> he doesn't like tacos, and she just thinks he's crazy because he doesn't like tacos. You're, you're wrong. Like it's not a real thing that people don't like tacos. You know, I will answer this. You know what people think is weird that I don't eat? Hmm. Macaroni and cheese. I hate macaroni and cheese. That would be why you don't like the macaroni and cheese and tuna fish. That yeah. makes sense. Then. No, I, well, I don't like tuna either. 
<clears throat> I'll eat tuna. I won't eat mac and cheese. Or peas. I don't care for peas. I'll eat them, but I don't care no, for peas. No, peas are disgusting. They're so gross. I don't do seafood, really. I mean, a little bit. Like, obviously, tuna. I like shrimp. But Shrimp's like, my favorite seafood. But, like, I'm not, like, I don't eat, like, salmon and lobster and stuff like that. People think I'm weird because I don't eat a lot of seafood. Mm. But I'll eat, like, calamari. Calamari is not too bad. It comes from the sea. I'll eat shrimp. Yeah. Like, I'll eat seafood things, but I guess fish is really You just, just don't like fish. Not a lot of it. Like, tuna. Yeah. Like, um, that tuna that we had at Bonefish. For your we had tuna. Oh, the For your graduation. Stuff. The ahi stuff? Is that what it was? The graduation? It was, like, it kind looked, of raw in the middle? It looked like steak, right? Kind, kind of. of. Yeah, that's my... I love that That stuff. was delicious. Yes, yeah, that, and was, that was And that was fish. That's seared ahi tuna, and that stuff is so good. It's, I eat that. I will eat... I will eat that, yes. I love that. But mm, I'm, but as far as like anything like fishy tasting, I won't eat it. Uh, my dad got me eating like salmon, but he makes it a certain way, and that's the only way I'll eat it. Like it has to be the way my dad made it. Do you remember? You remember when your dad made salmon for Aaron? <laughs> Aaron did not eat the salmon. <laughs> but Dad does not know that Aaron did not eat the salmon. <laughs> I don't remember this. We were at your old house, and your dad made salmon. <laughs> and you said, don't worry, we'll figure it out. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I know, it's so hard, because I don't like hurting my dad's feelings, and he takes things, like, that he makes. And I don't want to tell him, like, oh, I know that you're making a salmon steak for me, thank you, but no thanks. <laughs> no, oh, and he rude. takes things like that so seriously, too. Like, I don't want to be rude, like, I love your dad. He'll make food, and then he'll ask you 30,000 times if you liked it. Are you <laughs> sure that you liked it? But you know who else is like that? My husband is like that. <laughs> yes, Brian, I fucking like it. God dang it. You sure? <laughs> yes! No, but for, but for real, Chelsea... Like, be honest. For real, though. Uh, Did you like it? Yeah, it was good. <laughs> even the part with the blah, blah, blah? <laughs> I feel like I would have never even known that. But thanks for sharing. It was good. You should mm -hmm. I dropped it on the floor, and then I put it back on the plate. Like no, it was so terrible. <laughs> <laughs> That's disgusting. <laughs> All right, so the last question I would is, never do that. Moving on. <laughs> Um, do you guys have anything matching? This is not the last question, I lied. <clears throat> um, we are actually wearing matching <laughs> earrings <laughs> and necklace right now. Um, we have the shirt that she's wearing, I also have. I'm not getting up to show them. That's alright. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, <cute>. <laughs> it's a key. It's a key. It's cute, that's it's all you need to do. You guys have seen another video. Um, we've done matching Halloween outfits. Oh, yeah. We did matching clothes for a photo shoot the other day. Yes, those were cute. So we actually have a lot of matching things. Lots of matching things. Ooh, and our do you have the? Boom? I don't have mine on. No, I have the. Boom, well, but I, I can mine still on. I can still show them. Just though. pretend. It's a it's a bracelet she gave me, and it's Buddha, and she has one too. It's Picture an Alex that right here. It's an Alex and Ani bracelet, and um, now she's making me a big fan of Alex and Ani. Yes, to Alex and Ani bracelets. Yes. Yeah. What is your favorite TV show? I watch a lot of different things. I like having a lot of things to talk about. <laughs> um, I love Supernatural is one of my favorites. Um, Sam, Dean, Castiel, Bobby, like all great characters. Uh, there's a reason why that show is um, one of the long. What is it? The longest running sci-fi tv show i think it is um there's a reason for it there's a reason for it um i also love once upon a time i love my fairy tales what about that show? i love my superhero shows um uh like the agents of shield um arrow the flash and things like that i love rain um which is is pretty historically accurate too mm. It's actually a really good show. One of my friends was telling me about it. <clears throat> I haven't started watching it yet, though. But then I also like stuff like New Girl and Friends, which you got me into. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I also like some sitcom things. Big Bang Theory, How I Met Your Mother. Um, these are all really good shows. Like, I watch a lot of stuff. Like, this is just a few of the things that I watch. 
Um, Netflix and Hulu. I'm all about Netflix and Hulu. Orange is the New Black is my newest one that I've gotten into. I couldn't get into it. It's not for everybody. Yeah, I tried. I just couldn't do it. Well, and I know that, like, that actually people think I'm weird for because they're like, oh, no, it's, it's so It's good. not for everybody. Some of it's a little crass for some people. I don't think that was my problem with it. I think my problem with it, I just, like, I've only watched, like, two episodes, like, the first two episodes. That's what we were going to do. Yeah. And it was just so slow for me. That's... It picks up, but, yeah. it, like I said, it's not, I mean, I would be, maybe give it, like, another episode or two, mm -hmm. um, and then see how you think. Because the first one or two episodes <clears throat> was very slow. I almost stopped watching it. Mm -hmm. And people told me to keep watching it. It's like, all right, fine. So I gave it another couple episodes, and I got into it. But it, I know that, like, it's not for everybody. Mm. Weeds was another good show. Yeah. Weeds was pretty good. Um, Hi. Well, my favorite shows... Oh, I like sitcom ones, too. So, like, Friends, and How I Met Your Mother, and Full House, for sure. Full House is, like, my one true and blue forever and ever, like, favorite show. Um, but oh, also, gosh. I got really into a show called The Fosters. For a while, I got into the Gilmore Girls. I got into... You like Pretty Little Liars, too. Um, well, that's what I'm watching now. Um, it's... I haven't watched it yet. It's, uh, like, I like some of the storylines, but some of it's kind of slow and boring. Um, I like the girls that play the, uh, the characters in there. I like all of them and everything. And they have some really good-looking guys on the show. And circle back to Supernatural. <laughs> oh yeah, absolutely Supernatural. I love, I stopped watching Captain Supernatural. Hook. Captain Hook from Once Upon a Time. Who's Colin this? O'Donoghue. Is that his name? Oh yes it is. Um, <laughs> but I also love uh, The Walking Dead, which I never thought I was going to get into. I haven't watched I it yet. I am so super surprised that I like that show because I have such a strong fear of zombies. Message was the same way. enough, yeah, I have a, a big fear of zombies, so. But I love the show, it's a good show. So that's what I, I haven't love. seen it yet. Yeah. Well, you should start. Thanks. Alright, hey, um, season seven is about to start, so get on. Alright, <laughs> so that's our video. Yay! Uh, anyways, guys, uh, this is it for now. I will be back, maybe with her, maybe not. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, and if you didn't, then two thumbs up. Yeah, then give it two thumbs up. <laughs> and if not, I got another finger for you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, here's to wishing you guys infinite love. Please hit subscribe. I will see you guys in my next video. Mwah. Bye. Mwah. Shit, fuck, 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 edit it. <laughs> <laughs>